Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we delve into a story that has haunted a family and puzzled investigators for years. The unsolved case of Jean Van Kalk. Grab your detective hats, because this one is a real enigma. Imagine a neighborhood so serene it could be a postcard, where the sun casts golden rays on manicured lawns and children play without a care in the world. This idyllic setting was Jean Van Kalk's playground, her sanctuary. She was the epitome of youthful exuberance, a girl whose laughter was as contagious as her spirit was indomitable. Her family was well known in the community, the kind of people who would lend you a cup of sugar or help find your lost pet. Jean was the jewel of this peaceful community, a child whose innocence and joy seemed to epitomize the very essence of childhood. But then, on a day that started like any other, the unimaginable happened. Jean, who was always so punctual coming home, didn't return. Hours turned into days, days into weeks, and weeks into agonizing months. Search parties combed through every inch of the neighborhood. Flyers with her smiling face were distributed far and wide, and the local news channels covered her story extensively. Yet, no trace of her was ever found. Her family was shattered, struggling to cope with the gaping void left by her absence. Her mother couldn't pass by Jean's empty bedroom without breaking down, and her father spent countless nights scouring the internet for any clue that could lead to his daughter. The community that once thrived on unity and friendship was now clouded by a heavy mist of sorrow and suspicion. Doors that were once left unlocked were now bolted shut, and parents held their children a little tighter, all haunted by the chilling thought, if it could happen to Jean, it could happen to anyone. And so, the question lingers like a dark cloud over this once joyful place. What happened to Jean Van Kalk? A question that not only remains unanswered but has turned this peaceful community into a landscape of lingering stares and unspoken fears. A question that turned a haven into a haunting. Jean's family was the epitome of stability and love, a rock-solid foundation that many would envy. Her father, a dedicated engineer, and her mother, a compassionate nurse, worked tirelessly to build a life that was not just comfortable but filled with love and opportunities for their children. Jean was the youngest of three. And perhaps because of that, she was the apple of everyone's eye, the cherished baby of the family. Her siblings, Mark and Emily, were protective of her but also encouraged her adventurous spirit. They would often go on family outings, whether it was a simple picnic in the park or a camping trip in the mountains. These were the moments when Jean felt most alive, surrounded by nature and the people she loved the most. Her parents instilled in her values of kindness, empathy, and the importance of community, often volunteering at local events and charities as a family. But even in the most loving families, tragedy can strike like a bolt from the blue. It was as if the universe itself had conspired to shatter this picture-perfect life. Jean's disappearance was not just a random event. It was a cataclysmic shift that tore at the very fabric of her family's existence. Her parents, once pillars of strength, were now crumbling under the weight of their grief. Her father threw himself into his work, perhaps as a way to escape the unbearable reality, while her mother found it increasingly difficult to continue her nursing job, a profession that required her to care for others when she could barely take care of herself. Mark and Emily, too, were profoundly affected. They couldn't shake off the guilt, constantly replaying in their minds if there was something they could have done differently, a sign they might have missed. And so, we find ourselves asking the same haunting question that has plagued this family and community. What led to the sudden, inexplicable disappearance of Jean Van Kalk? As we delve deeper into this mystery, we'll try to piece together the puzzle that has left a family broken and a community forever changed. The day Jean disappeared started like any other. The sun was shining, and the birds were singing their morning tunes. It was a typical Saturday, and the Van Kalk family had plans to spend it together, just like they always did. Jean had breakfast with her family, her laughter filling the room as they discussed their plans for the day. But as the hours passed, something felt off. Jean was last seen playing in the front yard, her laughter echoing through the neighborhood. She was wearing her favorite blue dress, the one with little sunflowers on it. Her mother called her in for lunch, but there was no response. At first, they thought she might be playing a game, hiding somewhere as she often did. But as the minutes turned into hours, and there was still no sign of her, panic began to set in. The family searched every nook and cranny, every possible hiding spot where Jean could be. They called out her name, their voices tinged with a desperation that is every parent's worst nightmare. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows that seemed to mock their frantic search, reality began to sink in. Jean was nowhere to be found. The police were called, and the community rallied, forming search parties that combed through the entire neighborhood, the nearby woods, and even the town. Flyers were distributed, and social media was flooded with pleas for any information. But it was as if Jean had vanished into thin air, leaving behind a family and community grappling with a gaping hole in their lives. As we continue to unravel this perplexing case, we'll look into the investigation that followed and the leads, or lack thereof, that have left us with more questions than answers. The initial hours after Jean's disappearance were a blur of activity. 
The local police, aware of the critical importance of the first 48 hours in any missing person's case, sprang into action. Roadblocks were set up, and K-9 units were deployed. The air was thick with tension, and the community held its collective breath, praying for a miracle. Investigators interviewed neighbors, friends, and even distant relatives. They combed through Jean's life, looking for any clue that could explain her sudden disappearance. Was she unhappy? Did she have any secret friends or online contacts? Every stone was turned, every lead pursued with relentless determination. Yet, despite their best efforts, the trail went cold. The K-9 units lost her scent near the edge of the woods, as if she had been lifted off the ground and carried away. Surveillance footage from nearby stores and gas stations showed no sign of her. It was as if she had vanished into a void, leaving no trace behind. The lack of leads was not just frustrating, it was soul-crushing. Each day that passed without any news weighed heavily on the hearts of her family and the investigators alike. The community, too, felt the strain as parents held their children a little closer and the laughter of playing kids was replaced by an eerie silence. As we delve deeper into this haunting story, we'll explore some of the theories and speculations that have arisen over the years. Could Jean have been the victim of a crime? Or is there another explanation for her mysterious disappearance? Stay with us as we try to piece together this unsolved puzzle. As the days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, theories began to circulate about what could have happened to Jean. The community was rife with speculation, and the rumor mill was in overdrive. Some suggested that Jean had run away, unable to cope with some undisclosed personal issue. Others whispered about possible kidnapping, pointing to a string of unsolved disappearances in neighboring towns. But what stood out among all these theories was the idea that Jean might have been a victim of human trafficking. This was a chilling thought that sent shivers down the spines of everyone who heard it. The notion that someone could just snatch a child away, in broad daylight, in a community where everyone knows your name, was beyond comprehension. Local authorities even consulted with federal agencies, diving into the dark web and criminal underworld, looking for any signs or chatter that could lead them to Jean. Yet, all these efforts led to dead ends. No ransom notes, no demands, no digital footprints, nothing. The lack of concrete evidence left the door wide open for more outlandish theories. Some people even spoke of supernatural involvement, citing local legends and folklore. While these ideas were mostly dismissed, they added another layer of complexity to an already convoluted case. So, what do you think happened to Jean? Could she have run away, or was she taken against her will? And if so, by whom? We invite you to share your thoughts and theories in the comments below. Your insights could provide a fresh perspective on this cold case. Alright, folks, this is the part where you come in. If this story has gripped you as much as it has us, we need to hear from you. Have you ever heard of similar cases? Do you have any theories or insights that could shed light on what happened to Jean Van Kalk? Your voice matters, and who knows, it might even bring us one step closer to solving this enigma. So, go ahead and smash that like button if you want to see more content like this. Share this video with your friends, family, and anyone you think would be interested in this case. The more eyes we have on this, the better the chances of solving it. Let's use the power of community to try and bring some closure to this haunting story. Despite the tireless efforts of law enforcement and private investigators, the case of Jean Van Kalk has hit multiple dead ends. Leads that seemed promising initially turned out to be red herrings. Surveillance footage, interviews, and even the advanced forensics have failed to provide a breakthrough. It's as if Jean vanished into thin air, leaving no trace behind. This has not only frustrated the investigators but has also left the family in a perpetual state of anguish. The question that haunts everyone involved is, where is Jean and what could have possibly happened to her? As we wrap up today's episode, let's not forget that Jean is still missing and her family is still searching for answers. If you found this story compelling, give this video a thumbs up and share it. Maybe, just maybe, someone out there has the missing piece to this puzzle. That's all for today, folks. Keep your loved ones close and never stop questioning the world around you. Until next time, stay safe and stay curious.